Hello, hypertension resistors. So today I want to talk to you about what you need to consider doing the Thanksgiving holidays. Now, I have Dr. Robert Murphy from the Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine, and he answers questions about COVID-19. Any questions that you may have, he answers, and I'll have the contact in the notes where you can contact him via email or through his Facebook page to get your question answered. Today I will be sharing with you the answers that he gave some viewers of the Chicago TV station when they called in. Now, many people do not want to get the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine, for various reasons. And there are a large anti-vaccine movement that's going on in Austria. Dr. Murphy answered questions about what's going on. Austria has a very large anti-vaccine movement. Uh, Two million of the 8.9 million people in the country uh, are totally against the vaccines. And as a result, they now have like one of the highest case rates in Europe. They're over three times higher than Germany, which is considering lockdowns uh, at one third the rate the Austrians. Austria is just out of control in Austria. Uh, And they they really, they don't know what to do. Uh, So instead of locking everybody down, they're gonna gonna lock down the the unvaccinated. And there's a $1,600 fine uh, if uh, you are caught out uh, and you're unvaccinated during this lockdown period. And then there was a question about why in the world would we need a booster if the two doses that we already have received supposedly are doing the job. So here's what he had to say about that. The antibody uh, protection is going down in everybody. So what's happened is because of the Delta variant is that the protective level, the initial protection has dropped from about tenfold to about fourfold. In other words, the protection is not good for, is as good for getting the infection. However, after a couple of days and you have these vaccines, you develop another kind of immune protection that prevents severe disease. And so the hospitalization rate and the death rate, it still works. But uh, you know, we're right on the edge there. Uh, and that's why we have to get the pandemic under control now uh, before we lose that. And there was this very interesting question about how COVID-19 is affecting women differently. Here's what he had to say about how COVID-19, the infection, is affecting women differently than men. COVID affects people differently and uh, specifically with gender. So men do worse with COVID infection. Women are doing worse, maybe three times worse with long COVID. So the effects that are are still present six months uh, down the road. Men who get COVID, the actual disease, not the vaccine, no, but the actual disease, six out of seven studies that have been done have shown really bad consequences on fertility, on the sperm count and the quality of the sperm. We don't know what this means long-term. We don't know if it gets better after you get, uh, you finish uh, uh, the infection and recover. Uh, We're not really sure, but I mean, it's certainly concerning. And the question I know is on your mind right now, and that is, should you allow unvaccinated friends and family over for Thanksgiving? So here's what Dr. Uh, Murphy had to say about that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's just inexcusable that you mix vaccinated and unvaccinated people in this day and age. It's just, uh, it's too risky. Okay, so if push come to shove and you have to have unvaccinated people over, let's say it's your favorite aunt and she just does not want to get the vaccine. Well, there is another thing that you can do and that is you can get COVID-19 over-the-counter testing kit. And Dr. Murphy is gonna tell you exactly how to go about testing your aunt so that she can participate in the Thanksgiving holiday, even though she didn't get the vaccine. Here's what he has to say about that. Some say these kits are about 50% accurate. 
Well, let's hear what he has to say. Well, well it's not 50%. It's, it's about 80%, but you have to look closely at the packaging. Uh, most of them, I think uh, four out of five of the home kits that are approved now, it's, you have to have symptoms and be tested within the first uh, week or so uh, of having symptoms. So if you don't have any symptoms, it doesn't work as good. Now, if you test yourself a couple of times, two or three times, uh, approximately uh, 24 to 48 hours apart, uh, that improves uh, the sensitivity of the test. So uh, I wouldn't, if you know, say for Thanksgiving, you're having people over, uh, you don't know what their status is or whatever, uh, have them test that day. And if they're staying for the weekend, have them test the next day as well. Yeah, because you, yeah, because you want to test her to make sure that she doesn't have COVID so she won't spread it to the vaccinated people, right? Now, keep in mind, it takes up to two weeks for your shot to be effective, your vaccine to be effective. And two vaccines would give you full protection. And of course, the third vaccine is complete protection. And the third vaccine is not given until about eight, six to eight months after your second vaccine. But keep in mind, once you get the second vaccine, you are not immediately protected. You have to wait at least 11 days. Well, they say you have to wait at least two weeks after your second shot to get that protection. So don't think that once you get the shot, you're immediately fully protected. And this is true for the third shot as well. You have to wait for the two weeks to get protection. And keep in mind, last year we didn't have much flu because we were all wearing masks. So keep wearing your masks, keep ventilating your houses, and keep taking your vitamin D and doing your other public health measures to stay safe. We got this. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment, where you will learn everything you ought to know about hypertension and trending health topics. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next